strike first, the compressor or the football? <laughs> been asked a lot about different things from Australia and around the world and one thing particular is an Australian football and I didn't even know there was a difference or that there was a thing I'm sorry to all of you from Australia <laughs> welcome to our friends from how ridiculous hey guys it's great to be here I'm Brett this is Derek and Scott and we've done a heap of trick shots with the share and Australian football so we're looking forward to showing you guys how it all works and then uh, seeing what's inside it. Train, train for the footy. What is it? F footy. Footy is like what, what everyone would call it pretty much. No footy. one really says football. Why do we have four random four, flagpoles four sticking up? at a different height. To score six points, you have to kick the ball through the two big ones and that's called a goal. Okay. If you kick it and it goes through the, the big one and the little one, it's only one point. And then he would do the signal. And that means that it's a goal and you go back to the middle. So when you kick it, you want to hold it so it's facing like this. You don't want to kick it like that because it will go all over the place. And kick the bottom of the ball. Like this, ready? I'll kick it to the Scott and you'll kick it back. See? Perfect. Ah. See, yeah, hold it like that. Yep, there you go, kick. Yeah. Nice, Lincoln. Good. Oh, so this oh, is your drink. Oh. oh boy. This is what happens when Australian football meets cricket. Go! Yeah! Sharon football has been around since 1890, and there's 27 employees in the nice. factory that makes these and they make 500 footballs every single day. We're gonna do something a little different. Rather than cut open this Australian football. We're gonna blow it up. <laughs> Hope this works, we only got one shot at it. Okay, so there's the bladder inside, and there's where the actual nozzle, kind of, the needle goes into there. This is actually really, really strong leather, and a lot stronger than some of the other sports balls that we've opened, because it did not rip the leather one bit. This one right here is like the $20 knockoff that you can buy, so kids can buy them just to play with them. They're a little lighter, not as tough. I can't imagine. It's smaller. It's not gonna explode like this one, but we gotta see, because we have it, and this was so amazing that we've got to take a look at it with the knockoff version, so. All right, buddy, whenever you're ready, push that button. I'm so ready! Ah! <laughs> look at it! It broke the leather. It hasn't broke the ball yet. I mean, look at this. Who would have thought that this, these threads would tear before the ball would? <laughs> okay, it didn't make that loud of a noise, but we got it. Look at the tear in it. Tore right through it. That's some weak stuff. I still can't believe it didn't tear up. It looks the same as the other one. It's just, I guess the difference between the cheap ball and the nice ball is the quality of the leather. This is not leather and the stitching is not strong. This was a lot of fun. We really enjoyed making this video and we learned something. We have a new respect for Australian football and someday we actually need to watch a match or a game or whatever oh, it's called. Definitely. Put a link in the description below. You can look at the end card here and watch a video with the best of the best of your trick shots, right? Yeah. Australian football, the best trick shots we've ever done. The cream of the crop. Okay. All right. So go check it out on their channel. Thanks for watching, guys. Yeah.